Oh. Thank you, Putsada. What did I do on the weekend? Um, yesterday. Cleaning. Then we went to the lake. Dude, I was attacked so often again. Thank you, Lance Armstrong. Um, I will watch Napoleon one day. No, don't talk about it right now. Jesus. Dude, I got so triggered this weekend again. That I get so tired of it. Um, that's become a little bit uh, serious here for a second. I legit... Look, I'm 30 years old now. I'm a made man. I have a job. I have a girlfriend. I look normal. I don't look like fucking weird anymore. And still... I'm getting harassed so much when I leave the house. It is just so fucking... Um... Tiresome at this point. Yesterday, me and Lisa, Lisa wanted to go out. She wanted to do something. So we went to the lake. We live in a, next to really beautiful lakes. So we go to the... Shut up, Chad. Jesus. I really, I want to be a cool guy. Nice. So here we go. We go to the car. We start driving. And there's, uh, we're driving on the road. And there's like three bicycles next to each other, right? Like they're not, they're not on the bicycle lane. They're on the street. So already I'm screaming. I scream at him. And he's screaming back. So already we left the house five minutes in. I'm already fucking mad. I want to fucking fight the guy. Lisa drives. And every every two minutes something happens. Some guy is cutting us. Some bicycle driver doesn't care. No, everybody. And I said to Lisa, dude, Germany is normal again. Because um, everybody is shitting on each other again. We drive to the lake and there's hundreds of people. There's so many people on the lake, right? Uh, taking walks and shit. Hundreds, literally hundreds. And, and people are screaming at each other like a grandpa. I have to go this way. Go out of my way. And I just felt like Germany is back again. And here it comes. And... and I want to talk about this. I share everything with you guys, and it's it it really it it fucked up my day in a way. So we're walking, and I'm just a normal guy. I wear normal pants, black shirt, sunglasses. I look normal. So we're walking, and when you are a weird guy, when you look different, you know minority, whatever. There's something that you know, like the the normal white people in chat will not know this, but there's always this thing I've seen my whole entire life, and that is this one. So there's two people. Imagine the X is also a, a human being, right? There's two people. And what they do, and the camera is you. You are Tommy K, right? And my whole life, and a lot of people in chat, uh, some people, they will know what I'm talking about here. There's two people, they look at you and they're like, they're like this. That happens all the time. One person looks at me and they keep very long eye contact. And I'm like, what the fuck? You don't do that, you don't keep long eye contact. She laughs, then tips at her friend or partner, says, look there. They look at me both and start laughing. Happens all the time. Pussy. Hey, this is so crazy. So I'm just taking a walk, man. I'm just chilling, dude. And there's this fat lady on the beach. This really fucking boomer, old school fat lady. Fat German lady. Fucking Veronica. And she looks at me. And then she tips on her fucking husband, some 60-year-old boomer. And they both look at me and they start laughing at me. And I'm really looking at them the whole time. And the man is like, <laughs> hello, sir. <laughs> and just that fucked up my whole day. I, I think a lot of people in chat don't understand that. You just, a lot of you guys are just kids that don't have issues like that. But I'm like a 30 old man now. I could fucking choke you to death, you fat fucking whale. And you still have the audacity on a beautiful sunny day. To make fun of me because I have red hair. It's, it was probably about genderism, right? Oh, he looks like Ed Sheeran. That's mostly what it is. And I'm just like, oh, come on, bro. Yeah, super funny. Just what happens all the time. I literally can't leave the house anymore and go among humans without becoming super aggressive trying to kill everyone. It's mind-blowing to me. It's crazy, man. Crazy, crazy, crazy. I feel sorry for you. At least you earn more than them. It's just this injustice, man. You guys are adults, man. And you're laughing at like some adult ginger dude. Man, what the fuck's wrong with you? Hey, Tommy, Mom. And I'm always scared update. that one of these days I'm going to snap, dude. The, I talk about the slot. Today I went every the single day I go shopping to the uh, to the grocery store. Every day I get triggered, man. Today, shut up. I'm talking. Today, I'm I'm the chill in real life. I'm the chillest dude. I talk to no one. I always oh you can go first. I'm so nice in real life. I, I never do drama. I always yeah yeah talk to yourself blah blah. And I'm just fucking chilling with my with my shopping cart. I'm just like oh I have time. And all these Germans are passing. Fast off, fast off! I have.
have to go to the caching station because I'm so busy and I'm it's so cool It's cool. So I finally I finally want to uh, try right. I finally want to take my shopping cart and go back into the The aisle the hallway and go to the caching station and I'm like okay, this is my moment I just let 50 people pass. I'm a nice guy. I go to the left some dude crashes into me uh, keeps walking and just says something bad about me. He was like Imagine a 170 very small guy full of tattoos like a junkie guy. He was like metal t-shirt tattoos everywhere He literally I swear to God he was bald and he had a clown tattoo here swear to God and and I'm just I just want to share these feelings and I'm just standing there the nicest guy and this random fucking idiot just crashes into me and then ah fucking motherfucker and I just stand there I say nothing I'm, I say nothing I, I don't do that but I literally feel like bro if we were and Twitch admin, I'm sorry for saying this, but this is my feelings, I need help. If we were alone here, something fucking bad would happen. It's just blowing my mind, especially lately, because I'm now an adult. I, I, I would love people to act adult with me. I can't leave the house without getting triggered. I know triggered is a funny word. Uh, Karens get triggered, triggered is a meme word. I literally get triggered. There's so many fucking assholes out there Fucking cunts, dude. And my problem is, there's no justice. When you are a big asshole in real life, as long as you don't break the law, you have no consequences. You you laugh at people, you bully people, you talk bad about them. No one's gonna do anything. And it makes me go mad, dude. Makes me go mad. Like the other, I should have gone to that fat couple and be like, "What the fuck is your problem? Can't I just walk here without you calling me a cheering I thought. And I'm so full of rage, man. I want to punch him in the face, dude. And one of these days, someone is going to trigger me too hard. And I have to fix this. Because if I fucking punch them, I'm the one who gets in prison, bro. I'm the loser in the long run. I don't know. I just wanted to share these feelings. I legit can't... That, I think that's why I love my stream and stuff. Just sitting here. Because here, this is... I'm going to use the word. This is like a safe space to me. I can... I, this is my realm here. I, I, this is where I rule. But if I go out there, man, I can't go to any convention... Or fucking market. There's always wow. one guy. It's mostly it's adults. Nice. It's not children. It's mostly 40, 50 year old people that are like, oh, look, it's a cheering. What is in los, Leute? It's blowing my mind lately. I just wanted to share that. It, it's blowing my mind lately. And I'm so full of anger and rage. It's much better than back in the day. I'm more chill now. Because now I know I'm better than them. I'm stronger, more, more beautiful, more successful. That really helps me a lot. Um, but my god Blows your mind and it, it shows you man. What must minority go through if you're black if you wear a keeper? Like what the fuck do you have to go for going out there and all these fucks talk about you that must be so annoying Anyway, I just wanted to share these feelings. I guess I'm very annoyed by that and I'm actually I think I'm very close that one of these days I'm gonna fuck someone up man very fucking close lately and I'm the one who gets in trouble for that <sighs> Imagine being Middle Eastern though. What? In Germany, you are like the majority as a Middle Eastern though. What the fuck are you talking about? If you talk shit about a Middle Eastern guy on the German market, he calls all his cousins, fucks you up, dude. No, no, no. They're cool. Uh, let the anger out. I have to really join a... When Cor I said that the whole time. When Corona's over, I'm gonna join like a fight club or something. I need to get this rage out. Straight up, honestly, man. I This could really become a problem one day. Because I just want to take their... Like, that guy with the clown tattoo today, I I, I... I I fantasize. I think that's what anger issues are. I literally fantasize following him. And when we're alone, fucking him up, dude. And that, that's not cool, bro. That shit is not fucking cool. It's not cool. Play some rugby. 1v1 today. Whoever joins, joins. Whoever joins, joins. If someone loses three games in a row against me, I will kick them. No offense. I just want to test out some shit. Anger management, I need to do something. I need to do something. I'm legit, there's a small... It, it, I know a lot of you kids don't get this stuff and you're just laughing at this. I don't care, man. Um, but there's a little small voice in me that literally would like to maybe go talk to someone. Like a psychiatrist, a fucking shrink. Because I think I'm very good at self-reflecting myself and understanding myself. And like I said, I think that one of these days, if someone goes too far, I will just fucking snap, dude. I will just hurt them and then I'm in trouble and it's I think it's important to be um, pre preemptive what's the word I'm looking for 
It's important that I do know something about it before I get in big trouble one day. Cause Jesus fucking Christ, man. And that is a fact. That is not that is not my presumption or anything. There's a lot of fucking assholes out there. Right? You go out there, you meet five people that just don't care about anyone else. Arrogant. Like all day long, dude. All day long. Like Lisa never sees this, right? Lisa, she doesn't see that stuff. She doesn't care. But I legit have issues going out nowadays. Legit. And I talk, I, I can go to the shopping mall, to the cinema, I don't care. But going to big gatherings of... Make free players and watch. Let me watch. Uh, make free players and let me watch. Um, what was I saying? What was I saying? I forgot what I was saying. I don't know. I just... I think it's important to just stay calm and not give a fuck. But I can't. Because I have this ultimate urge of justice. It doesn't go into my brain that these people act the way they want and have no consequences. That's why I think I'm so aggressive towards them. That's why I want to punch them in the face. Because that's the only way they will ever fucking learn. That's something I, I really, really learned about life. And I stand, by, I stand behind this till the day I die. A lot of assholes on this planet don't understand normal languages. There's so many cunts on this planet, you can't talk to them. You can't... You can't talk to them. They're two fucking idiots. The only language they understand is aggression. Maybe I'm wrong, but that's what I feel. Very good discussion, to be honest. This has to be quite a common issue, and it's good to talk about it. And I I'm so shocked by it. I think what I'm kind of shocked by is... Um... Look, I was bullied my whole life. Ginger, blah, 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 long story. And it always hurt me a lot. It, it always hurt me a lot because... I had no argument. When I was bullied in school, my bully was more attractive than me, had more girls than me, even had better grades than me, had, had, he was better in fighting than me. I always think about my main bully, Paul. Paul was better than me in every aspect. And that, that hurts even especially, right? You get bullied by someone and they're ahead of you everywhere. That, that hurts especially. And now, as arrogant as it sounds, uh, as arrogant as it sounds, I reached a point in my life where I feel epic. I can beat most people in fights. I have a beautiful girlfriend. I have a loving family. I have the greatest friends. My friend, I have such good friends nowadays. They will go to war with me, man. I have money, success. And I think what breaks my balls is I go out nowadays, yesterday, and still get bullied. Oh, Ed Sheeran is coming. Look, John. <laughs> it's, it blows my mind. It's like, whatever I do, it doesn't go away, man. The only thing I can do is I get gray hair one day, right? It's... I don't know, this shit uh, really... I I've gotten calmer over the years, but it, it blows my mind, man. It blows my mind. Dude, it's, it's crazy, man. I don't know. And one of these days, man. I gotta really fix this. Anyway, uh, by the way, Andy Floriers, what I'm doing is I'm playing every single map. Like, I will always go one map, but we will never play uh, uh, Navy maps. Fuck that. Talk to Lisa about that. I talk to her all the time about this. She's very um, understanding and stuff. Dude, I love myself. I'm very self-loving. He thinks he still has hair by the time it becomes gray. I don't know. Stand up for yourself, mate. We'll talk back to them. It would just make drama and... and I don't know. Like yesterday, I felt like I reacted wrong. I should have gone to this family and be like... Why are you looking at me and laughing? May I ask, you guys are adult human beings. Can I ask what the fuck is your problem is? Um, I should have done that. But also, it doesn't matter. You're not going to change these guys, you know? I don't know. And, and uh, the final point before we start playing. Thank you, Moss. What I learned in life is... I, I come from a bad neighborhood. I learned if you have a problem, you answer it with violence. That's what, that's what I learned. I didn't learn to talk to people about issues. I learned if someone wants, wants to go, we fucking go, man. Dye your hair pink. I'd rather be ginger, man. I don't know. I don't know. I think in the end, I just want to say, be nice to your people, guys. Don't fucking look at people in public and laugh at them. They see that and you fuck up their whole day. And uh, yeah, be nice, man. Like, I, I, I just don't... I don't get it, man. You know, I don't fucking get it. Thank you, Rondrigo. Thank you. Like, why? Maybe they're not laughing at you. Yeah, Lisa was like, maybe you're just thinking wrong, maybe. But literally, the moment was, this fat lady is like this. What else is she gonna mean? What else is she gonna mean, right? What is she gonna... She's laughing at, oh, look, it's Tommy K. I don't think fat lady on the beach doesn't know who Tommy K is, man. 
I don't know. Anyway, I need to calm down. I, I'm actually really fickle of talking to someone about this because I'm, I don't know, so full of rage, man. And nowadays, it's like in the supermarket. I want to talk about this anger issue. When Final thing, and then we start playing. When it was just a prank, bro. I was seven years in the supermarket. In the first half, the first four years, I was a very shy guy. I was my early 20s. So I'm like, <laughs> like uh, uh, an aggressive person came by. I will never forget. There was this one moment. I never forget this because you scar people with this. I, I don't want to sound like a pussy, but it's what it is. I'll never forget. There was always this guy. He was like the biggest scum. Imagine he was like 35 years old. He still dressed like a skater. He was always stealing. He had no job. Fucking trash, right? And one day, I was always nice. I was in my own beep beep. Yeah, yeah, 250. Thank you. I would never care about anyone. I was just doing a thing. And one day, I will never forget. This is kind of where it started. This guy, this unbelievable loser of a human being. He, I will never forget this. He's packing his bag on the, you know how cash it? Here comes the things. Doot, doot, and here's where they pack their stuff, you know? And he's packing stuff in his backpack. And I know he's stealing. I just don't care, right? I'm like, I don't want any stress. And I will never forget. And he does this. <laughs> Watch out, Pumoke, huh? <laughs> Pumoke, uh. which is, uh, you know what I mean? What that is in German? It's like anti ginger stuff. And I'm just sitting there, like, super shocked. I'm like, what? Who are you to do this to me? What the fuck? And then it started, right? I started to becoming, I turned from the shy guy to this guy who's like, ready to kill anyone just straight up fight every day have fist fights every fucking day man and it created so much anger bro so much anger like uh, and here's the point that i think is very 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 and you have to understand this is not cool young kids they think violence is cool yeah fuck them up tommy it's so it's not cool it's not cool when you punch a junkie in the face no one is winning there it's just fucking <laughs> and and that's how i and i still have that nowadays so hard you literally, when you have anger issues, you literally want people to trigger you. You know, society has it everywhere. You know what I mean? Like our parents. Our parents, they want to get triggered. Excuse me, these strawberries are 20 cents less. No, they're not. And then that's it. The boomer, the boomer brain is like, oh, someone gave me contra. Someone wants conflict. No! Excuse me, can I talk to the manager? What do you mean? They're not 20 cents. I will call my husband. He's a lawyer. Blah, 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 blah. You know what I mean? But I have a different trigger. My trigger is not, Woo! I want to discuss with you. My trigger is, I want to fucking, I want to wrestle you. I want to take you down and wrestle you. And and I have these triggers all the time as an adult who has actually a good life. And I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. I don't like it. Back when I was younger, I, I liked it. I was like, oh, I'm ready to fight these people. It was like, cool. But now it's not cool. I'm a made guy, bro. I can't fucking fight junkies anymore. And I really... Here's my final thing. Oh, I just broke my fucking... Oh, God. That's really bad. Oh, no. I I have this thing under the table for my feet, right? Like, you have to put your feet on something when you play computer games. Otherwise, you're gonna... And, yeah, my final point is I really have to get that away. I have to get that out. It's... Like, I remember, man. Dude, this is not healthy. Here's a... There's a streamer called Stalingrad, yeah, right? Like, this, this German... Uh, I'm giving him a stage now. I actually didn't want to give him attention. There's this German. He doesn't stream anymore. He used to play her before and he really hated him. I talk a lot of shit about him. Deservedly so. He's a bitch. And he will always talk shit. And here's a, here's a point. Here's a great example. I'm giving him a stage now. People are going to uh, clip it and whatever. I don't, you guys are all kids. And here's the point. How do I explain? Let's say I get a 10k donation. I'm like, oh, that's cool. Let's say a new movie comes out. Oh, that's nice. Let's say I had a good Hoi 4 game. Oh, that's good, I guess. I'm not that emotional about it. But then one day, I think one year ago or something, someone sends me a clip of this streamer. Who, he has like five viewers. He really doesn't matter. That's the point of the story. You have to understand the story. This is not about drama. It's about what comes now, the story. Someone sends me a clip of this streamer sitting there in his room. He's like, yeah, yeah. one day I will go to Paradox Con and I will throw water in Tommy K's face. Yeah, yeah. And that, and that shit stays with me for weeks. I'm literally at bed at night thinking like, oh, I can't wait for it. I can't wait for him to do it. I'm so excited. It's And that's so unhealthy. Like, good thing happens to me and I don't care. But someone wants, someone wants to... Someone wants some action, wants some drama. I love it. My whole, my, every fucking day I think about it. I, I love it so much. And that's so unhealthy though. 
It's so unhealthy. Um, he was joking. I, I, it doesn't matter what he thought. It doesn't matter. What matters is how I perceive it. That I literally am ready to fucking... I don't care if I get picked, kicked off the conventional band on Twitch. I'm ready to fuck him up, dude. And that's so unhealthy. And I want to get that out. I think that's just the point I want to make. I really want to get that shit out, man. It's, it's fucking shit, man. It sucks. Um, anyway. I used to do MMA back then. That's that helped me a lot. And I Corona happened now, but 100% when Corona's over, I will I will fucking do something. 100%. I have to get this shit out. I don't know. I just wanted to raise awareness for anger issues. Uh, they, but they also come from somewhere, right? They come from somewhere. The hood life has scarred you too much. I don't know. Let's let's just stop playing. Let's calm down for a sec. That was it. There's clearly no inner peace with you. Do hiking or something. You're, you're totally right. Yeah. You are. Dude, my fucking box broke. That's really bad. I I, I have no inner balance. I'm very... I'm happy inside. But what did this guy say? I am very, very... Uh, unbalanced inside. Yeah. Very unbalanced. And it's very important for me to fix that. Anyway. Anyway. It's easy for the devil to misguide you. Like, I'm still in a good way. I behave, man. I don't fuck punch people in real life. I'm... Uh, I, I do well. <sighs> okay, just calming down for a second, then we play some games here. <sighs> play Counter Strike to cheer you up. Stay at home for too long, left me with the same anger issues. I don't know. <clears throat> yeah, I hope you try to get that help because if you actually do that stuff, it will not go well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, let's play. Let me get some music. Um.